Hey guys, welcome to the video. I'm going to answer some burning questions that people have put to me on the YouTubes. So he goes, hey Steph, look into vitamin B1. The symptoms you describe do sound familiar to B1 deficiency. Worth a try since B1 supplements are very cheap and safe to use. Order, thanks. Yeah, I've been, uh, I've been working on the B1s there. Yeah, if you don't know, I think I have long COVID, so I'm having prickly f feelings throughout my body, which is neurological nerve damage. Anyway, I'm doing okay, though. Don't worry about me. Hey, cheers. Coffee is no good for you, too, if you got nerve damage, just so you know. So this guy replies, I think my math is so bad, I need a refresher so I know how to even pose a question to Python. Yeah, see, I did this video a little while back. I said, do coders need to learn math? Short answer is they don't. 99.9% .9 of coding math is not important. So don't let the, uh, unless you're doing AI development, I don't know, uh, game engine development. But if you're doing web apps and mobile apps and most business apps, you don't need any math. You and NetNinja are the best web developers, web dev teachers online. So my answer, I used to fight ninjas when I was a teenager. That's about 140 years ago. Good battles. C++ is getting messed up. See, I'm doing some on the fly editing here. Uh, with every new version worst, it tends to attract the worst kind of programmers, the over-engineers. Oh, my jeez. I hate over-engineers. Back in the Dab my Java days, back in the 90s when I was doing the Java, and Java was the hot new language, the over-engineers were going wild, wild with uh, things like Java server faces and EJB1 and EJB2, big messes. Anyway, over-engineering sucks. If you take anything away from this video, uh, number one, uh, I used to fight ninjas. And number two, uh, don't over-engineer your products. The best developers write simple code. Bruh, what the F? I need C-sharp if I'm a developer Do Think sometimes before saying something. Bruh, I'm sure this guy uh, with the little anime of a, I don't know, some sort of pink anime, I'm sure he's super experienced. So I did this video called Why You Shouldn't Learn JavaScript. And it's a short, and a lot of people don't actually watch videos, I noticed. They'll comment before watching the video. So in that video, I was actually, I was being sarcastic. And in, in the video, I'm clearly saying, you, you know, JavaScript is, is, is a worthwhile language. Ruby on top still today, by the way. In response to my uh, video, why is C-sharp so much better than Java, yet not as popular? Why do people get wrapped up in languages? It's like, who cares? Whatever language, see, if you're a junior developer, you're going to be like, oh, this language is the best and all these others are terrible and I'm only going to ever code in this language. Those, that's a beginner. A beginner thinks that way. Advanced developer goes, eh, I'll use whatever language the job needs. Hey, Steph, I got a client for my first workshop and I was wondering if you could share some specific teaching techniques. You need to break things down. You need to omit a lot. As a good teacher, when you're designing curricula, designing a, a series of courses you have to know what to put in what not to put in the worst thing you one of the worst things you can do as a teacher is to overload the student with too much detail that's ne not necessarily necessary that's number one how do you convey what you need to convey without overloading the student you use something called the spiral teaching method look it up the spiral teaching method my favorite language is ruby fight me <laughs> i had severe pain and excess lethargy that sounds like me. I now take anabolic steroids, work out on an hour minimum a day, and eat a perfect diet to fight it. Oof. I would stay away from steroids personally. I don't like steroids. They're not good. I did steroids a long time ago because of a blood disease. And uh, it aged me. It aged me. Um, now, it has temporary effects, but man, be careful with that. Be careful with that. C++ is ugly and every new standard makes it, it prettier in some ways and uglier in others. But that's the price of evolution without breakage. Imagine that if C++ had less cruft projects like Zing, Zang, Zung, Olden and many others. And many others would not have been started because C++ would have been good enough. Having said that, as promising as all those upcoming languages are, my customers and my projects demand a certain level of absolute battle-tested safe software that could easily interpret, interoperate excuse me, with customer systems. Sounds like I need more coffee. Mm. C++ can be horrible if used incorrectly, but as long as you keep it simple, you won't go wrong. Hey, that's general 
good advice there for any programming, really. It definitely has a higher learning curve at the peak than some, langu some languages, but you can still do very simple things safely and quick. Eco, that's the comment of the day. Three years, still no job, still studying. Part-time study for eight months, boot camp, general assembly, three months, I believe. I was above average out of 33 students by class, eight month full-time study and applying for jobs. Worked for, for three months, worked for three months and got let go, but I realized I didn't really know how to make a fully functional app, just snippets. So I've been studying another year, no job yet. No YouTuber says it takes three years. All it says it takes one year. I may miss a survey. Anyone study as long as I do. Yeah, you, you, you're probably just doing a bunch of bad courses. There's so many bad courses. Answer. Probably bad courses. Uh, problem with so many of the boot camps these days is that um, they're taught by people who just graduated from the boot camp I hear. I hear. I don't know all of them. I haven't looked at all of them. I'm sure the boot camp you're going to is fantastic, but the problem, make sure the teacher who's teaching actually has good industry experience, minimum five years, minimum five years. The first three to five years as a developer, working developer is where you learn a lot about how it actually works and how to be a developer. A good teacher just, just doesn't teach you how to code. A good teacher teaches you much more than just code, much more. And that can only be taught if you understand it and you only get the understanding by being in industry. So try to find somebody to teach you who's actually been in industry for at least five years. So if you see the teacher, no offense to 20 year olds, they probably don't know what the hell they're talking about. Sorry, it's they haven't been in business, they haven't been in the game. A lot of these teachers, by the way, haven't been in the game. I'm sure there's some good ones out there, but I've seen a bunch and I'm like, dude, what are you saying? So yeah, remember coding, to be a professional coder, developer, the code is part of it, no question. Of course, you gotta learn how to code, but there's much more to being a professional developer than just the code. So look hard, and before you put your good money down on a boot camp or you spend your time on tutorials and free or dirt cheap, which some can be good, I'm sure, remember to evaluate who is teaching you. Very important. When I was first learning how to box, boom, I had confidence in my coach because my coach had a real track record as a fighter. He wasn't one of those fake coaches who know the superficials, but they don't really understand the fight game, so the people they train end up losing. My coach had an amateur record of 77 and 2, which anybody who knows boxing is like an unbelievable record. And it could show, even in his 40s, he used to step in the ring and, and, and beat the hell out of professional fighters who were half his age because he knew what he was doing. So find somebody that knows what they're doing in terms of your coaching, in terms of your uh, learning to code, learn to be a developer. Very important. That all said, I'll be transparent. I'm Uncle Steph, and I do have a mentoring program slash boot camp where I will be teaching you personally. All right, we'll talk soon. Bye-bye.